a lot of people experienced a lot of traumatic, should I say, events when we left Uganda. A lot of family members that I know, friends, are no longer with us because of the war. My brother and two sisters also came here. I suppose started a new life. I've always tried to encourage some of them to come running. So I googled park run and believe it or not, actually my park run is five minutes walk from my house. When you bring one in, the other one will come in as well. And since they came, they have not left. Within that the park run community, the women especially, have given me so much of their trust because I've seen people that have been on the lowest of their life. And when I see that growth and the confidence that they actually have now, I feel so proud. I can't express what sort of joy that is. You always wait for each other at the end. And when someone finishes and they always run back to grab you, I can't imagine why no one else does it. Um, it's just amazing. And actually most of the time it's always women. So I'm so happy when you see the joy and the smiles always um, uh, says it all. Burgess has probably brought more to the Ugandan crew than anything. And I'm so grateful uh, for them embracing the Ugandan culture as well. Taught them a few words in Swahili. Asante sana. So up to today, sometimes when you're volunteering, um, even people say, oh, Asante sana. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Which is obviously, thank you very much. Right now, I can't actually uh, imagine not having the amount of people or the people that I've, uh, I've kind of connected with now. If anything, the most, the most positive women I've ever met in my life, considering what they've gone through and they continue to go through. The Parkrun community gives me so much that I can't imagine if I wasn't doing parkrun, if I would, I would ever, because I, these people, I, I now take them as family. They're actually my family. My name is Josephine, and I'm a parkrunner.